in the next minute you will see pictures of the people that have guided me through my journey my journey has been tough there has been ups and downs i've gone through it all through depression through anxiety through panic but at the end of the day the people that you see in these pictures have been there to motivate me to push me to continue to keep going forward and because of that i thank them i would not be anywhere if it wasn't for them and their support and of course some effort on my part but overall they were my main, main motivation the only thing i could tell you all today is to find your group find the people that are going to motivate you whether they're here in this room now or once you start but please find those people just the same way i found my people my journey started with my foster parents who i now call my regular parents because they were the ones who showed me that love comes in many shapes and forms. They took care of me when no one else wanted to, and they also took care of my little brother and my little sister at the same time. My wife is the second person who has impacted my life in a very great way when it comes to college. She graduated with her master's in marriage and family therapy and is now currently working as a therapist. And after she graduated, she basically asked me if I wanted to return to school and better my life and my career. And I jumped the chance, it, you know, I was very happy to do so. And I thank her for it. Not very many people will sacrifice the livelihood that they have to change it up into a, a different one. And the last person on the list is my son, Max, who was born on January 3rd of this year, and he is a shining light in my life. He makes me smile and laugh, and it just generally makes my life all the more better for it. And I hope to graduate and get a better job and make more money so I can give him everything that he deserves. Thank you. My name is Emily Bufonda, and the people who motivated me to keep pursuing my education are my parents in the upper left corner, my sisters in the lower left corner, my dog in the lower right corner, and my boyfriend in the upper right corner. Without the constant love and support I have received from my loved ones, I would not have the confidence to push myself for my dreams. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rocio Vasquez. I'm gonna tell you my story from going to a community college to a university. The first picture shows me, my mom, and my sister. My mom and my sister are really proud of me of getting into Cal Poly, and they're very supportive with my major, and I'm very grateful for that. The second picture is shows me, my friends, graduating from high school in the year 2017. All of my friends went to four-year universities while I went to community college. The third one is the most recent picture of me graduating from Citrus, 2019, so recently a couple months ago. And the last picture just shows all my degrees that I was able to get from Citrus within the two-year mark. Hi everyone, my name is Marlene Mendoza. My journey started my senior year of high school. I applied to CSU LA and was accepted. Even though it was supposed to be an exciting time, my grandfather passed away two months before my high school graduation. I went through a depression after his death, which resulted in my acceptance getting taken away because I missed deadlines. At this point, I felt that college wasn't for me. Exactly two weeks after my grandfather's death, my niece was born. She was the one who gave me that push to continue my education and apply at Mount Sac. Six years later, I finally graduated from Mount Sac and now I'm ready to take on Cal Poly Pomona and what it has to offer me. Thank you. I'm Juan Antonio Cruz, and my school journey has often been full of anxiety and depression. I've often felt like there are two people inside me, an overachieving perfectionist and a sad, anxious blob, both more interested in their own desires and not caring whether I would rip in half. Yet here I am, ready to fulfill my mom's dreams of having children who were, in her words, profesionales. She would dress us up in suits as soon as we were born. Not sure what career we would have, but sure that we'd be professionals. 
It's thanks to my parents' patience and friend support that I've made it this far, and I look forward to getting on to the next pride of my life. Hello, my name is Alexandra Santos and I am a sociology major. Right out of high school, I knew I wanted to go to Citrus College because my sister, who is my role model, went there. I was determined to transfer out in two years, but eventually the stress got to me and I decided to take a break. During my break, I decided to get a part-time job and apply to the Daiso where my sister worked at, once again to be close to her. During my time there, my sister, co-workers, and I all became best friends, and they all encouraged and rooted for me to go back. So eventually, I went back to school, and if you've noticed the pattern, you can guess why I chose to transfer to Cal Poly. Hey guys, so my name is Anderson, and uh, these are the people that supported me throughout my uh, career at Pasadena City College and transitioning into Cal Poly Pomona. So the first picture is uh, my family, and uh, they were always so supportive of me. Uh, I switched my major twice already, um, even though they don't exactly understand um, what it is because I am actually the first person to go to college. They were always uh, always have faith in me and uh, just uh, trust that I know what I'm doing. The second picture is um, two counselors that I was very fortunate to meet um, at Pasadena City College, and they were always um, there to give me advices as well as um, letting me know what classes I should take, what class I shouldn't, how I should uh, proceed with my career there. I honestly wouldn't have been able to get through com community college without um, these people. Hi, my name is Samantha. I'm a sociology major and I transferred from Cal State San Marcos. I planned to transfer as soon as I started my freshman year, but didn't realize how attached I would be to the people I met and how difficult it would be to eventually transfer. There were times where I wasn't sure if I really wanted to transfer because I felt at home at San Marcos, and I didn't know if I was ready to give that up. My parents wanted me to move closer to home to help them financially, and I felt even more conflicted when I was denied from Cal Poly the first time. There was a mix-up about the number of units I completed, and I submitted an appeal at the last minute that got approved. Going through the program makes me feel better about my decision to go through with transferring, and I'm looking forward to the next chapter of my life at Cal Poly Pomona. Aren't you glad you came to CPP? 